when we were streaming last week, Stella suggested that this looked a bit like a robotic beetle <laughs> from above. Hello Mares, this is Blocks. Welcome back to Blocks Plays Build It. And today I thought we'd start over here. We're going to carry on storing a few more things, kind of where we left off last episode. Uh, but I do want to buy the Sydney Opera House first, because I've had my eye on that for a while. And I think if I remove some of the other ones, I might drop below the population requirement. And it's important to make sure that we have it in our city before we do that. So 25 golden keys, 110,000 population. We meet those requirements. Let's place it down. Pretty cool. I want to find a way to kind of have this along the shoreline at some point. Um, but yeah, the, the buildings I want to uh, stick in my specialisations inventory today are the stadium, which I've already checked. It doesn't have any prerequisites, really. You can see here, just the entertainment HQ. I also want to get rid of the expo centre here, create a bit more space. And the Plumbob Park, the deluxe Plumbob Park that was a limited time um, offer in this city when I started it, I think. Oh no, it wasn't. It was part way through, I think. It was like a free free uh, park or something. Anyway, right, so that's that done. And we'll come back to the Sydney Opera House in future episodes and we'll do some cool stuff for that. But let's go ahead and look at the new sports venues today. That's one of the main things I want to look at. So we've got the Summer Sports Week 2 of 4. So the Summer of Sports continues. Keep on building with the Beach Volleyball Centre, the Paragliding Centre, Swimming Pool and Track and Field Stadium. And if you joined me for my live stream on Tuesday 9pm UK time last week, you'll have been some of the first in the world to see those new... What is that message thing doing? <laughs> is it bouncing back and forth there for a while on the left-hand side? I missed that. Um, yeah, you'll have been among the first to see those in the world. Because um, we did the sneak peek live on stream and then I released a video as well. So hopefully you've seen that and that's been useful to you. Uh, people have been responding fairly positively overall, I think. Um, so yeah, they are, let's go ahead and we'll start with the beach. We'll look at the beach volleyball centre, which is down here. It's actually locked for me because I haven't placed a volleyball court in my city. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's put a volleyball court uh, down here, I think. Only five golden keys. I've saved up tons of golden keys recently. There we go, that unlocks the beach volleyball centre. And I'll sort of put it in here so you can kind of see it alongside the other one. And I think it's an okay kind of building. It's not my favourite from this week's set. Uh, but I do think it looks pretty good alongside two little volleyball courts. You could imagine those being almost the practice court for the main match court. And the beach volleyball centre would become, be kind of that main match court. Um, but I'm not going to use it just now. I might get it and store it in my specialisations inventory for future. But I'm not... You know, super keen on it right now. Uh, so let's head over here again and we'll find some space for our swimming pool, which should be in here, I think. Oh no, it's the track and field stadium in here. Well, let's do that one first. Uh, and this one is, this is pretty funny. I actually quite like this building. It's a very distinctive look. Um, and it's kind of got this sort of brutalist architecture, I think I said in a, in a different video, kind of round the sides and then around the front it looks really, really modern. Um, but when we were streaming last week, Stella suggested that this looked a bit like a robotic beetle <laughs> sort of from above. You can see the sort of little legs and then the, the head kind of pointing to the right hand side. That kind of went a stage further and ended up there being like ladybird comparisons and all kinds of stuff. Um, and there's a picture I made after the stream because I thought it was quite funny and I tweeted that out. So I'll stick, a, uh, I'll stick the picture in now actually for a couple of seconds so you can see it. And then, yeah, so I tweeted that out as well, and I'll put a link to the tweet in the uh, video description if you want to see it again in, in more detail or whatever. Um, so that's the track and field stadium. Let's go ahead and find the... Uh, what's it going to be under? Uh, it should be parks, I guess, the swimming pool. Yeah, I think it's a... And welcome back. Sorry about that. Just had a crash. I think we're on our way to look at the swimming pool. Uh, and unfortunately, I've placed it already. I actually started... Um, recording but I forgot to hit record 
Um, so I just had to restart this segment. But yeah, there's the swimming pool, 34,000 simoleons, 14 by 10 area, 15% boost. You can see all that information in my summer sports week two sports venues sneak peek video. It's a bit of a mouthful. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's up on my channel now as well. And the thing I really like about the swimming pool is it can, you have this sort of wave effect on the left hand side if you look at the building it almost looks like water sort of lapping against the shore or something like that or you know in a swimming pool so pretty cool i like the design of that let's go ahead and look at the last one which was the oh come on there we go yeah uh paragliding center again from the mountain menu obviously this is the premium one this week 250 sim cash but yeah, you get a decent sized boost and a good area for it and stuff like that. You do have to have the mountainside train station in, obviously. But yeah, pretty cool building. I like the sim sort of paragliding down the outside of the mountain. And I don't have the sim cash for it, unfortunately, but it's, uh, it's definitely my favourite. I think probably closely followed by the track and field stadium now. Originally, I liked the swimming pool a bit more, I think. But um, after what Stella said on the live stream and then the sort of uh, ladybird thing that somebody else sort of continued the idea with and, and then the tweet and stuff um, it just yeah every time I look at it it makes me smile so uh, pretty funny uh, let's go ahead and look at one other thing I actually completed a city achievement uh, that was in the bit I just recorded and showed you but uh, you didn't see so I got the clean and green city yeah there we go wind and solar power to 150 residential zones got 30 sim cash for that fantastic and I also can't remember if I mentioned last episode, I finally got my first Platinum Key from the new Contest Rank, which is over here, and I'm working towards my second one now. My plan when I've got a bit more time is to try and level up to the next league, because right now I'm in the Town League, just kind of chilling, getting by each week. Um, I think I could probably float around in the City League or maybe even the Metropolis League without putting sort of too much effort in and sort of stay in the middle of the leaderboard and get a prize each week, get the small prize. Uh, that's my sort of plan for the long term. So I think that's a good way of earning just a little bit extra each week without having to really go for it. And then if you have a week where you've got lots of time to spare, then maybe that's the time you, you, know, you have a really good shot at trying to win one of the big prizes or medium prizes or you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, I want to use those platinum keys to save up for the Kölner Dom, which is in the landmarks bit, which I think is really, really cool. It's 20 golden, uh, 20 platinum keys, sorry, for this one. And then the other one I want um, is in the gambling menu. Can I tap that? Yeah, there we go. And uh, it's down here, the Omega Casino, because I think that would look pretty interesting in my casino strip area. Okay. Uh, right, and yeah, if you tuned into the live stream last week, I mentioned my iPad 2, and I think I mentioned it last episode as well. I've managed to get hold of an old iPad 2, and my plan was to try and get my main city up and running on that, so to transfer owner, link it up to Game Center, and then be able to link up with more of you in game, because uh, it's something I haven't been able to do since Facebook changed my profile to a page and broke all my links and all that kind of stuff so that was kind of annoying back then but i thought i'd found it oh crap okay hopefully that was the last crash of the episode we won't have any more i was kind of tying things up anyway and saying that i would really hoped the old ipad 2 i managed to get hold of would solve all the problems that i was having and be able to run the game and stuff like that but it just cannot load this city for some reason i don't know why i guess maybe the pressure on the device or you know the amount of stuff I'm asking it to do like maybe rendering too much or something is just it's just too much and it can't handle it uh, I don't know the technical stuff behind it but if you were playing the game back when the mountain holiday update came out and I know loads of people had crashes and all kinds of problems with that it feels like that again when the snow was in the game it's it can barely run most of the time it just crashes as soon as I load the game uh, sometimes it'll last for a minute to two and then it just crashes if I tap on any of the settings menu or the, the friends icon over here or something like that then it just crashes instantly um, yeah it's really frustrating but there's nothing I can do about it but what I think I can do with the iPad 2 is turn it into a very basic from the start start again kind of 
build it basics city and maybe do a series with it that way until we get to the point where the device can't run the city again. And I think that might be quite an interesting thing to see. Particularly because the game's moved on now, some of my tips and tricks have kind of changed. Some of the things I do slightly differently. I've learned a lot more about the game. Uh, so if that's the kind of thing you'd like to see, do let me know in the comments below and what kind of basic tips and tricks or things you've struggled with along the way because um, that would be super useful for me. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I am still working on the storage, like I said, and I know these these red angry citizen sim bubbles and stuff really annoy some people. We are working on that. Um, I'm going to spend some time working on this Parisian area before next episode. Uh, I'm actually thinking about putting my sort of uh, Neo, well, Omega Zone area up here and moving all this stuff further down the mountainside because then the Omega Zone can be kind of near the Neo Mall. Oh, let's check the Neo Mall actually before we finish up. Um, but yeah, I'll do that kind of off camera uh, before next episode. Oh, let's grab those solar panels. We must be pretty close to a another upgrade soon. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, Mares. I really appreciate you stopping by and being part of my little city. Uh, we will revisit this again soon. Stay tuned for more sneak peeks next week on Tuesday 9pm UK time. I'll be live streaming those as usual. And I will see you then, hopefully. If not, then take care and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.